Tell me what converts glucose into glucose six phosphate. Glucose. Exokinase or glucokinase. Um, exokinase is present in which tissues? All the tissues. Yeah. Except. Except yeah. liver and beta cells of pancreas, where glucokinase is present. Okay, um, this is an irreversible step. Okay, I am writing just irreversible steps here. Glucose six phosphate, um, glucose six phosphate is converted into fructose six phosphate. Is this step? Uh, okay, that's not important. Okay, fructose six phosphate is converted into what? This phosphate and uh, what's the enzyme here? Phosphofructokinase. Phosphofructokinase. Phosphofructokinase one or PFK one, which is a rate limiting enzyme here. So fructose one six bisphosphate is converted into what? Glyceraldehyde. Glyceraldehyde three phosphate. Okay, and this can be inverted in interconverted into GATP. Okay, and G three P can be converted into what? Three phosphoglycerate. One three biphosphoglycerate. Yes. Uh, one three bis phosphoglycerate one three BPG with the help of enzyme, which is uh, which is actually they ask, but this step is not uh, uh, irreversible, and that enzyme is glyceraldehyde three phosphodehydrogenase. Perfect. And what do you produce in this step? NAD. ATP or NAD. NAD. What vitamin is needed in this step? Mm -hmm. Third, nice. Uh, Very good. Mm. It's nice. I mean, wherever you see NAD, that's nicotinamide, adenine, dinucleotide. Okay, so there you need niacin. Wherever there is FAD, there you need which vitamin? B3. B2. Niacin. Mm -hmm. Riboflavin. Okay. B2. Perfect. Okay. We are learning. We are learning. Perfect. So, 1,3 BPG is converted into what? Three. Three phosphoglycerate. Three phosphoglycerate. Where is one phosphate going? To make an ATP. To make ATP. Okay. To make ATP. Okay. This three phosphoglycerate is converted into what? Two phosphoglycerate. Two phosphoglycerate. This is converted into what? Phosphate. Yep. Yep. Okay. With the help of enzyme. Enolase. Okay. Enolase. Inhibited by. Arsenic. Fluoride. Fluoride. Oh, okay. So what inhibits arsenic? Arsenic inhibits what enzyme? Pyruvate dehydrogenase and G3. G3P. Perfect. Okay. Arsenic inhibits G3P and pyruvate dehydrogenase. Awesome. Uh, okay. What uh, is PEP converted into? PEP is converted into? Pyruvate. Pyruvate with the help of enzyme? Pyruvate kinase. kinase. Perfect. That's pyruvate kinase. This is again an irreversible enzyme of glycolysis. And what do you produce here? ATP. ATP. A molecule of ATP. All right. So what? These are the three irreversible steps of the glycolysis. Okay. Why I am focusing much on these steps because if you want to do, if you want to know gluconeogenesis, you need to know know what are the steps in glycolysis which are irreversible so that you can bypass the step and produce new glucose. Okay. So if you want to make glucose, you need to bypass exokinase and glucokinase. And if you want to make glucose out of G6P into glucose, what enzyme will you need? Glucose-6-phosphatase. Just glucose-6-phosphatase. Okay, you're just removing phosphate, phosphate from glucose-6-phosphate. Okay, that's glucose-6-phosphate. And this uh, phosphatase, this enzyme is deficient in? Bon Gerke's disease. All right. Um, this step is also irreversible, and which is a rate limiting enzyme of glycolysis. But if you want to convert fructose six, fructose one six BP into F six P, what enzyme you need? Phosphate. Simple fructose one six phosphatase. Uh, this phosphatase. This phosphatase. Okay, just removing one phosphate and you just go back. Okay. That's also done. Okay. You cannot directly convert 
pyruvate into pep you need to do some other magic okay and that magic is you have to convert first pyruvate into oxaloacetate okay with the help of enzyme pyruvate carboxylase okay pyruvate to pyruvate carb like oxaloacetate and how many carbon is the pyruvate three three carbon okay because and how many molecules you produce of pyruvate two molecules, two. Two molecules because glucose is six molecules and you produce two molecules of pyruvate and um, and how many carbon is oxaloacetate it's a four carbon okay that's why uh, if you want to convert pyruvate into oxaloacetate you need to add one carbon and with the help of pyruvate carboxylase you can add one carbon and uh, you convert uh, pyruvate into oxaloacetate that's our first magic trick okay if you want to just bypass this pyruvate kind of step you need to play two magic tricks first one is you add carbon dioxide to the pyruvate and you make oxaloacetate and if you have to convert oxaloacetate into pep with the help of pep carboxykinase okay pep carboxykinase okay pep ck pep ck so pep ck uh, somebody you know turned on the heater here i don't know why yes. it's getting hot so the another enzyme if you want to bypass pyruvate into pep you need to do two tricks okay one is convert pyruvate into oxaloacetate and from oxaloacetate you do one enzyme which is pep carboxy kinase what will you do here you will remove one carbon or you will add one carbon in pep ck add one carbon uh, how many carbon how many carbon in pep add one carbon out yeah three three okay so you have to remove again carbon okay so Pyruvate kinase is no doubt an irreversible step of glycolysis where PEP is converted into pyruvate, it's irreversible. But if you want to go back, okay, and you want to form new glucose, we just have to do a magic trick, okay? You just add carbon to the pyruvate and just remove that. Okay, that two magic tricks are required if you want to bypass this step, okay? So just add one uh, add one carbon to pyruvate and it will form oxidacetate. Which vitamin you need here? Pyruvate carboxylase. Pentothenic acid. Ah, uh, pantothenic acid is needed to do what? To add coenzyme A. We need B7. Perfect. You need vitamin B7 in any carboxylase enzyme, any, any carboxylase reaction, okay? So that's vitamin B7, okay? So first step in glycolysis where you're adding carbon that requires vitamin B7, okay? Pyruvate carboxylase, vitamin B7. Other thing here is oxaloacetate can be converted into pep and uh, this requires a special thing which is called as gtp okay so that's our first introduction to the thing which requires gtp okay extremely high yield extremely high yield. so this is i'll tell you two places where gtp is formed and this is one place where where gtp is actually required and formed so this is gtp okay so gtp is utilized here and i'll say you one place where gtp is formed okay so just add carbon dioxide and remove carbon remove carbon carbon dioxide and you just made pep and you just go back because all these enzymes are reversible pep into 2 pg this into this this into this this into this this into this and you have this enzyme for just bypassing this irreversible step that you just use pa like phospho 16 bisphosphonate and you move move here and this is reversible and you also move here with the help of g6 glucose 6 phosphatase so gluconeogenesis requires four steps okay first is convert pyruvate into oxaloacetate second is convert oxaloacetate into pep okay which requires gtp then you convert f6 bp into f6p with the help of enzyme fructose 1 6 bisphosphatase and then you convert g6p into glucose with the help of glucose 6 phosphatase okay so we learned to break down glucose and also to make the new glucose with the single diagram okay Okay, let's learn about the ATP management here. You used one ATP here. Okay, you used another ATP here because we were adding phosphates everywhere. Until here, our balance was minus two ATP. You produce NAD here, but we we have like two molecules of G3P, two molecules, two molecules, two molecules, two molecules, two molecules, two molecules everywhere, right? So how many total NAD we produce here? here? Two. Two NAD, okay. So how many total ATPs? 
approximately 6 ATP, okay? And we also produce 1 ATP here and 1 ATP here. So actually this is 2 ATP because we are losing, like using uh, 2 molecules here. And we also produce 2 ATP because we are using 2 molecules here. So what's your net gain? Net gain in glycolysis. Eight ATP. Eight ATP. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. Eight ATP. Does everybody agree with this? Yes, it's correct. Okay. So we do six ATP here. Six plus two, eight. Eight plus two, ten. And because you've already used two, so the net gain is eight ATP. Okay. In anaerobic part of glycolysis, because pyruvate, if it goes to the Krebs cycle into the mitochondria. It needs oxygen, okay, because mitochondria needs oxygen and in RBC there is no oxygen. Okay. And so net gain in anaerobic part of glycolysis is 8 ATP. Mm, 